Turn it on! Observe these cows that are standing in here. You need to be aware that whenever you start stocking cows and bulls and animals of this size, these old cows weigh 12, 1300 pounds. They're going to be consuming 36 to 40 pounds of forage per day. And whereas you have uh, these smaller animals in here that's weighing 600 pounds, they're only going to consume around 15 to 18 pounds of forage per day. Just about half, maybe not quite half, what these cows are going to consume. And the same is true with water. These cows are going to consume a larger amount of water because they're going to consume about a gallon per each hundred pounds of body weight. So these old cows are going to suck up 15 and it'll be 20 or 25 gallons if the sun gets out and hot during the day. These yearlings are going to be consuming five to eight gallons a head per day. So you can kind of figure out that you will run through three or four hundred gallons of water here each day just for this group of cattle. Just to give you an idea of how you can get started or what is necessary, this paddock that we're standing in was planted last fall. Two years ago it looked just like this next paddock which is full of mesquites. I cut the mesquites off of this property, this little paddock here. I hauled the trees over and burned them. I went in here and subsoiled this two and a half acres and I put out uh, ball clover seed and I put out air leaf. I also put out a little bit of uh, Bermuda grass seed to shine in. As you can see, this pasture has already got air leaf where the cows have already grazed this patch down twice. This is the next uh, time they come through here will be the third time. Got air leaf, got ball clover, and it came up real good, but uh, for a first year. Now the next year, it will double the clover on this area and it'll just keep getting better and better. But people say, well, my property is grown up in mesquites. It's easy to do, cut your mesquites off your place, get rid of it, subsoil it, and uh, start planting clover. As you can see, this paddock here has already been grazed twice, like I said, and it, it's ready to be grazed again. Uh, to summarize, uh, this uh, type of intensive grazing has really benefited me. Uh, I used to spend a lot of money on uh, feed and hay, and since I've been in the business, I do not spend near as much. Uh, anyone that is thinking about getting, getting into the intensive grazing, it would benefit you to do so. And uh, like I said, don't get, don't get discouraged. Get started if you just have some grass and, and some property. You need to get that intensive grazing in and get started. He said, I cannot believe that. He said, you have shot my dissertation all to hell. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't aim to do it. Nature did it. I'm just co cooperating with her. <laughs>